Now that we've looked at different examples, let's get started with our drawing of our cityscape. After you've got a really nice drawing, you'll be able to paint it. The first thing we're going to do is draw a line at the bottom of our paper, making the land line. We need that land line for it to be a landscape or a cityscape, like our picture. So we need some space, so if you can't fit three fingers in the bottom, then your line is too close to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to do three, maybe four fingers, and then I can see the side of my paper, and I'm going to make a somewhat straight line across my paper. Don't worry about rulers. It's going to look a lot better if it looks like it's made by an artist, like you. And we don't always draw perfect straight lines. Now we're going to make five buildings, um, spaced out and different heights. The way we're going to make our buildings, we're going to start with two straight lines, one here, and another one. Make sure you can fit three fingers in between. Your fingers will be a little smaller than mine but make sure it's a nice wide building. Now that I've got these two lines, I'm gonna give it a V, upside down V, for the top. That's one building. So let's do it again. How about over here, I'll make a shorter one. Straight line up, three fingers, straight line up, and a V on top. Now I have two buildings. I'm gonna put one pretty close to that, that's taller, one, two, and put a V on top. One, two, three buildings. I need two more. These are all different heights. I can work on making them really different or some very much the same. So let's make two that are um, one really tall and one a little bit more. This size I've been doing. So a straight line, really tall, really tall. Three fingers. Remember to do that every time because sometimes if you make it way too skinny, you'll forget to check. And if it's way too skinny, painting is going to be so very difficult. And now I'll make another short one. Why not? For my fifth building. So here's one, two. Oh, you know I want it shorter. You can always erase. Take your time. And don't push so hard into the paper that you can't erase. So now I have five buildings. They're different sizes, and they stop at the land line, right? The buildings aren't going to be growing any lower than that. The next step is we're going to make that overlap. So you get to choose how many buildings. They still need to have that three-finger width. They still need to be pretty wide. But you can make them sometimes with just the V. So see how these two are close together? I can put just a V, upside-down V, right here, and now there's a building behind it. The overlapping is gonna make it look like there are buildings all over the place, which will make it so much cooler. Make it look like a real city. There's another one. And this one, I'm gonna make one straight line up for half a building, and the other side, I'm gonna just do my V. So now it's overlapping. This building overlaps this building, and this one is still behind this one. And now, over here, I think I'm gonna to have to draw a couple buildings. And so maybe I'll make one line here and give it a V. And then I could put another one back here. These ones we don't have to count. You just need to fill up that space. This will be a really wide building, so it's going to go off the page like that. Now that I have buildings, I have different areas of overlap. We're going to do one more thing to make it look like a building that's 3D. From the point on the top of your buildings, each one should have that point. You're going to draw a line straight down. Now I can see two sides of the building. Straight line down. So go find every point and just make that nice smooth line down. Remember we're not using rulers and that's totally fine. They don't have to be perfect. They just need to be wide enough we can paint them. That one's going to end at the same place as here. And down. Once you have your whole city drawn out, we're not going to add our details like windows or people. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to leave it just like this so that we can paint it next week.